Hey everybody, and welcome to this demonstration of Dremio, the unified lakehouse analytics platform. A platform that aims to make data lakehouse architecture easy, open, and fast by providing you with unified analytics to combine all your data sources, such as object storage or on-prem data lakes and other data sources in your long tail of analytical sources, such as relational databases, NoSQL databases, data warehouses, and more, and being able to combine them all through Dremio's universal semantic layer where you can govern it and make sure you maintain top level security. But not only can you curate the data, but you can query that data with a SQL query engine that has top, uh, top price performance, allowing you to use unique uh, features to Dremio, such as reflections to accelerate those queries, allows you to federate those queries, and again, allows you to operate across multiple clouds and hybrid cloud and on-prem environments. But oftentimes the center of your analytical world will be your data lake as you build a data lake house. So being able to manage that lake house so that way it just works is a big part of what Dremio brings to the table with its lake house management features, providing you a modern data catalog with Git for data features, along with automatic table optimization. So that way those tables are always crisp, always fast when they're queried. And again, this platform can be brought to you either through a self-managed uh, Kubernetes deployment or through a cloud managed SaaS deployment. So again, Dremio allows you to shift left. So it allows you to kind of move more and more of your workloads from the extra storage cost, the extra compute cost, the extra egress cost of having to work more in a data warehouse and be able to, again, shift left so that way you're doing more of your workloads on the data lake. Okay, so that way Dremio be, is able to make the center of your analytical world your data lake because you'll be able to connect your data sources directly to Dremio and then deliver that directly to your uh, analysts, data scientists, etc. because Dremio provides you that intuitive self-service experience, that intelligent and powerful query engine, and those next generation data ops cap capabilities with its integrated catalog, those Git-like features, table optimization, and more. So now let's begin with the demonstration. Hello everybody, welcome to this demonstration of the Dremio cloud platform. Again, Dremio is the unified lakehouse analytics platform, basically allowing you to sort of unify all your data in one place, curate it, govern it, and be able to query it with a fast query engine and make sure you can manage those lakehouse tables. And we'll kind of view a lot of these features. But bottom line is when you have a Dremio cloud account, you're gonna have a UI just like this. I have a lot of stuff kind of going on because this is my personal account. But bottom line is when you first get your account, the first thing you're going to do once you're all signed up is you're going to want to connect your data and you'll click over here on add source and you'll find a variety of sources, including uh, Dremio's integrated catalog, currently known as Arctic. You can add as many of these catalogs as you want. They provide Git like features. Um, so that way you can have branching and merging, allowing you to sort of isolate transactions, create zero copy cloned environments, all sorts of really great patterns. But you can connect metastores like AWS Glue, object storage, different types of databases. You're gonna have a variety of different things you can connect into your Dremio cloud account. Now, once you connect your data, you'll be able to see all your data sources over here. So I can see generally every account's gonna have a default integrated catalog that's part of the project, but you can add additional catalogs so that way you can organize the data as you see fit. I can see my object storage, my databases, all the different data sources uh, that I have connected, okay? Now, the cool thing here is I can begin curating a semantic layer. So oftentimes in my default catalog, what I may do is may create folders for maybe I'm building like a virtual data mart or a data mesh, and I can create, you know, different folders for my different business lines. So you can see here like magist, magist, um, uh, um, logistics, marketing, etc. Okay, so what I can do is like, let's say here in tax collections, I might create a medallion type architecture for that virtual data mart where I have bronze, silver, gold, you know, I can land raw tables or raw views on the raw data in that bronze folder and allow curation of views on that data in the silver and gold folder. So instead of duplicating the data, because when we create these views, so these, these sort of uh, green icons, they represent views, so they are not copies of the data. Instead, they are logical views on the data. You can create your data, you can curate your data marts without, without less copies um, through sort of a virtual data mart built on virtual views. Okay, so I can see and I can curate, I can govern this data so I can control which users can access all those different data sets. 
Um, on top of that, we have this really nice, sleek SQL editor. So right here, I can see I have a query um, that I can do. So I, I was actually just going to write a fresh query. So I can say like select star from. And in this case, instead of me typing out a whole data set name, what I can do is I can click over here and say like go to samples, samples.dremio, and say, hey, I want, I want to query this data set. And so I can just drag and drop that really nice and easy. Okay. Now notice I have to put in the full namespace for that data set. Another nice touch is I can go over here to the context switch and just change the context of the query. So that way it's right where I need it. So now I can actually eliminate all this because the query is going to run in the context of that particular folder. So it's going to look for this data set in that folder, making it where I can, uh, if I'm referring to multiple data sets in the same sort of folder or namespace, it makes it much easier for me to write my queries. So now I can go run that query. Okay. And the, well, first we'll wait for this query to run, but once it runs, we'll see the data set here. Okay. And again, I can curate a deeper logical view of this data set, either through SQL, if you are comfortable with SQL, but if you're a non-technical user, you can still curate your views on your data set. Cause over here, you have all sorts of different tools to help you curate that data set, whether it's, whether you're trying to sort the data, you're trying to rename different columns or drop certain columns, convert the data type of columns, convert, um, you know, the casing of different columns, create calculated fields, whatever you need to do, there are UI features to help you build that out. Also on Dremio Cloud, you have a text to SQL feature. So I can go in here and say, hey, I want, you know, I can just drag that data set in here. So say, hey, I want to create a query on this data set and then just type in, you know, normal text language and just say, hey, I want a view of this table that is only the state name and date. Okay. Okay, and I'll click generate and it's going to generate the SQL. So there and there it is. There's the SQL. So I can copy the SQL in there. Okay, and then again, I can actually run multiple queries. So I can just paste this query in there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of this extra space there. Okay, and put a semicolon there and let's run this query. So you see, and now I can run multiple queries and you see that how each query gets its own tab. So this makes it really easy for me to be running multiple queries. So that way I'm not running a query, looking at the results, then running another query. I can actually basically plan out my whole job there. And if I want to, I could save these chain of queries as a script. So that way I can rerun them again later. Okay. But now I can take a look at this second query here. Okay. And let's say I just want that as a view. Okay. I can again run that query. And then what I can do here is save as a view. And again, I can now save it in anywhere in one of my catalogs to track that view in my semantic layer. Okay, which I'm not going to do now, but you guys get the idea. Another neat thing you can do is that with any data set, so let me go back to tax collections, silver, if I were to just grab this data set here, I can click here on this pen. It's going to take me to a place where I can edit this view. And this is a couple things I can really powerful things I can do here. I can go under this details tab to, to develop a wiki. And the cool thing here is you have generative AI features here to generate your wiki entry. So I can just generate a wiki entry to make it more easy to document my tables. I can eliminate the idea of materialized views, BA extracts and cubes from my mind, because with the reflections feature, it abstracts a lot of the work of all that away. Anytime I would normally want to create like a materialized view, I can just turn on raw reflections and it, it'll do all the figuring out of everything behind the scenes for me. I can just turn it on. I'll notice queries on that viewer faster. If I'm running BI dashboards that are depending on a lot of group by statements and aggregation type queries, I can turn on aggregation reflections and they would do similar work to that of a BI extract or cube without all the work of having to maintain it and update it and track it. Dremio is going to abstract all that work away for you. So I can just easily turn these on and accelerate queries on those tables when that is necessary. Okay. So you have a lot of flexibility in what you can do. So again, I can, create, manage a semantic layer, organize my data. I can control who accesses each piece because each piece I can say, Hey, this user has access to this folder, to this catalog or this data source. I have very fine grained access controls that even extend to column and row masking rules. I have a very easy and intuitive SQL editor to do really powerful SQL queries here in a very easy to use way. I have the job pane where I can actually monitor all the jobs that have been coming into my Dremio cluster. Okay. And within the settings, I have the ability to 
one, manage the different engines I have so I can actually control how they scale. So how many different replicas of the same engine can exist at the same time to manage you know, what, whatever level of concurrency do I want, what size of that engine I want. So it has t-shirt sizing. So you can say, Hey, do I run a really powerful, extra large engine running this query? Or am I fine with a, in this case, two extra small, uh, engine, but not only that, I can actually route certain queries to different engines. I can actually create logic to say, Hey, these are my high priority queries. This should go to the extra large engine. These are my lower priority queries. They can go to the extra small engine. So that way you can make sure that you're managing your costs and your costs are reflecting your actual needs instead of spending extra on queries that don't need it. Okay. Um, so there's a lot you can manage here from Dremio in managing your data lake house. On top of that, any tables that you're tracking in these integrated catalogs, you can enable automatic table optimization. Okay. So, um, actually that would be on the table itself. So if I were to go to actually an easier thing to do is just go to the actual catalog, uh, UI. So if I were looking at one of the, take a look at one of my catalogs, I can click over here and I can actually monitor what's in that catalog. I can take a look at the history of commits in that catalog to be able to monitor the history of not only what changes were made, but who made those changes. Okay. I can tag certain commits so that way I can replicate certain data. I can have different branches in order to do sort of get like type activities. But again, I can do all that from here. So it gives me a whole level of observability uh, that um, is unique to these integrated catalogs. So hopefully that gives you a quick little tour of uh, the Dremio Cloud uh, Lakehouse platform. I'll see you all later. Have a great day and enjoy. Again, reminder that again, all these data sets that you create here are accessible to your end users via JDBC, ODBC, via the REST API, and via Apache Arrow Flight. And many of our integrations with your favorite BI tools already factor that in. So just to point out that how easy that can be. Okay, so let me just go back to, let's say, one of the tax collection data sets. Okay. As you can see here, those buttons just immediately connect that data set to Tableau or Power BI. But again, using you know either the JDBC connection, ODBC connection, Apache Arrow Flight, you can easily bring it into any notebook anywhere. Uh, you can easily connect to any BI tool uh, using your Dream your curated Dremio Lakehouse data set. So that way you just curate all your data in one place, and then your BI tool, your um, notebook really only needs to connect to one place to get access to all your data, making working with your data easier, faster, and more open. Uh, again, hope you guys all enjoyed this about the Dremio Lakehouse platform. You'll find more resources in the video description. See you all later.